Good morning, Plush, Oregon. Well, now I know where all the mosquitoes went from the valley. <laughs> They're all over here. <laughs> They've got a serious mosquito problem over here. Horses are happy, the sun and the moon. Birds are singing. Today we're gonna go explore the sunstone mines. See if we can't find some sunstones unique to Oregon. In all the world, this is the only place you can find them. So we're going to go look. Our humble little abode. Good times. This is really a fun place to stay. Most certainly on the rustic side. The property owners, this was a dream. And they uh, pursued their dream. And then he passed away. And she took off. She went to, she went back to, I think she either moved back to or moved to Hawaii. So it is, you know, had the minimum amount of care for the past few years. And it's too bad because it was a really beautiful piece of property. It could be again, but there's a lot of work here. So come on in. Come on in. I'll show you around. Living area. Camera staging, clothes staging area. During the winter, which we've been, heater, television that doesn't, television. Our wonderful little dining table for two. And, oh my god. So, a uh, little kitchenette thing. I've had, you know what? The delectable. I haven't brought my little coffee press in. Mmm. Mm. Love that coffee press. Little bathroom. Not, not much to speak of, but functional. But so, this is it. This is it. Cool, I would say, in the winter. Most certainly not overly warm. Warm in the summer, most certainly not overly cool. But in the in-between, pretty awesome. You know, there's lots of good times to be had here. I'll show you.
We found a few. It's fun to look. There's Jasper here too. Not sure if this is a piece, but my understanding. So at one time, Tiffany's of New York was out here. They had a mine and they, uh, they wanted, they sought those sunstones for their jewelry. And they had a hard time managing the people that worked the mine. And I think it became more bother than it was worth. So I don't know if they sold it or what they did, but they got out pretty far away from New York City to the Sunstone Mine in the high desert of Oregon to manage things. But there's some history. Kind of fun. Definitely, if you are a rock hound kind of person, you like looking and searching, this is a pretty fun spot. Pretty fun spot. Some people are more industrious than others. Susan and I are not that industrious. We're just walking along and seeing what we can find on the surface. And that's good enough for us. It's more about being here and being out and enjoying the day to us than it is about finding anything. But we'll... we'll uh, see if we can't put our stuff together and we'll add a photo to this video and show you what we came up with. We've been out for about an hour. Anyway, that's it. Signing off from the Sunstone Fields of Oregon on a quite beautiful and sunny day. Hope this finds you well. Somebody excavated quite a uh, quite a hole here. Great spot for critters to get out of the sun now so lots of little pieces really you know the, the ground is quite literally covered with them and I suppose a person would have to excavate and do things to find stones but it's fun. We've we're enjoying ourselves just being out here looking. We don't we don't have any expectation to find anything. But it's fun. It's good to be out exploring Oregon and all the things that it has to offer. And thanks for coming along with us. We certainly appreciate that. I'll keep you uh, informed if we find anything earth shattering. So those are the Rabbit Hills, right there. Coyote Mountains, are they mountains? Coyote Mountains? Of course, Heart Mountains. Poker Jim Ridge. We're not in the middle by any means, but there is a, a probably a 600 acres of uh, sunstone collection site right here.
that is free. You can camp and come and look. So this is our booty. David collected. Susan collected. She has a piece that has a little color in it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got the copper color in it. It's here. That's pretty cool. She's got a pretty good size piece here. She could make a little ring out of that. Or a bracelet. Or not a bracelet, but a pendant or something. That's pretty cool. Yep. And over here, David, he's got a few pieces. Nothing, nothing to write home about. But that's fun. It's all fun. We had a great time. It's all about having fun. Which we have. Happiness is hiking. We just had to stop. We're on 395. And we had to stop at this little playa. I don't think Susan has ever been out on a playa before. So we had to stop. And check it out. And if you have never been out on a playa, there's one over near the Steens called the Racetrack Playa. And it is definitely worth going to check out. It is so cool. And it's just starting to dry here, really dry up. It will get like concrete. Through the summer. And just be as dry as a bone. It's pretty cool stuff. And this is in your state. This is in Oregon. Look at these mountains behind. This is cool stuff, man. Go out and explore. Live life to the fullest. Hiking is happiness. Susan getting creative. Look at her. Do you see that creative look? Watch this. Susan, give us a creative look. She's looking at these things and she's formulating, how can I create my next masterpiece? I was wondering if you could go over and Yeah, kind of... there'd be no chance. And sit on the tractor? Yeah. <laughs> could you? Well, maybe, but... Yeah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> if Listen, if I don't come back, you know whose <laughs> idea this was. You know whose idea this was? It was her idea, not mine. If I get some horrible disease or some tick that burrows into my skin and won't come out without some sort of surgery, you know whose idea this was. Yeah, she didn't say, I'll go sit on it and take my picture. I hope you noticed. It was like, will you go sit on it? Oh, wait a minute, I hear something rattling. <laughs> Just, oh, look at all these bugs. Look at all these bugs. Looks what I get into. How do I get into this? How do I get into this?